Yeah, yeah, what up, man? It's Vada Fly, man. I got New Jersey Twerk, Jack Boy Man, and Ryder of the Goonies on the line. We about to talk about some things, man. It's a lot of things going on, man. Let's just get it started, man. The, the topic everybody want to know about, I let Twerk or whoever wants to go first. What is up with you guys and this whole Rome DMV? What's up? Nah, you go ahead first, first. I'll just speak your piece first, bro. You who everybody want to hear from the most anyway. Anyway, so how basically um so Rome DMV was originally the Goons manager, um of me, Jack, Ryder and Drugs. Drugs is no longer a part of for what we got going on. Um, I'm saying he's still a bro, but he's just not part of what we got going on. So, um, so basically, we took a trip to Ascension. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Rome, Rome had a a rental, a home, whatever the case was. Uh, he, I, I'm, I'm guessing he asked Paulie for some money. You know what I'm saying? He asked Paul. Matter of fact, he asked Paul. No, nah, matter of fact, I was, this, this is where I'm in the deck, bro. So the nigga Rome. That's why I told you to talk first, bro, because you know. Oh, all right. You know, I don't be in the middle of this, bro. Yeah, all right. Back, back, back. All right, I got it. So basically, basically, all right. So what happens is we're going to a center. You know what I'm saying? Rome gets a rental where, you know what I'm saying, he got the rental off of donations and the nigga sent a bar. It's got name that was a nigga that was on his little live channel, you know what I'm saying. Uh, he rolled down there with us because he helped Rome pay for the little rental and shit, you know what I'm saying. Like, we didn't care. Like, we didn't, we didn't need the rental. But, you know, niggas got it in it, whatever. You know what I'm saying. So we go to Philly, and we go to Philly, you know what I'm saying, on the way to Ascension, you know what I'm saying, late night, the nigga B. Wills was battling for he wanted to stay for it. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, Ron was saying he had to go and pick up motherfucking YK from the airport. You know what I'm saying? So at this point, I'm actually, I'm already in the whip. Like, I'm in the whip. I'm ready to go. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I thought it was bullshit, but it was like, all right, whatever. I'm in the whip, ready to go. You know what I'm saying? As Twerk said on his live, you know what I'm saying? He was in the building, and he ain't want to leave. So I go in the building, I go get Twerk, I'm like, come on, bro. He said he got them, gave YK his word, and he going to pick him up. So I'm like, come on, bro, let's not make the nigga go back on his word. Twerk with it, because he wanted to see our man's battle, which is more than understandable. So we get outside, you know what I'm saying, bro basically started calling the nigga all out his name, like he's a doja and a fuck nigga and a do-boy and all that shit. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and all of that good shit, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and instead of Rome keeping it a thousand and just saying, yo, I gave a nigga my word that I'm going to pick him up, he goes, yo, a donator sent me some bread to pick up YK. You know what I'm saying? So we like, nigga, what? Like, all right, all right, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But niggas mad, you know what I'm saying? The whole trip, niggas called him out his name and all of that shit, you know what I mean? Because we like, this some fuck shit, like, you know what I mean? Like, long story short, whole weekend go by. Months later, you know what I'm saying? I got a fucking call that basically during that trip, there was some money donated to the boonies. Well, niggas don't know how much. Niggas didn't necessarily need the bread either. You know what I'm saying? Because niggas actually got paid by URL sponsors to be at Ascension. You feel me? So it's not like niggas needed the bread. You feel me? Like, yeah, you know I mean, so my whole gripe is basically like, you got paid some bread, you lied to us and told us that a donator sent you the bread to pick up OIK when really that nigga sent you the bread to just assist the Goonies. You know what I'm saying? But on top of that, the way you got the bread was without my knowledge or without twerk knowledge, you hit up the donator and told the donator that me and Twerk needed bread. Like what? So, so we never we never asked for no money back. Like, never me. asked for no money, bro. Nor did we know that he was reaching out to niggas, telling them that we needed money. Like what? So you so reach out to the so nigga so without so us so knowing, so and so you so use so our so name so to get money. So what you're saying is that you guys had. Their, I mean, well, he's recruiting sponsors for you guys using y'all name pretty much using y'all name and brand to recruit sponsors 
and then when the money's coming in, y'all it's not being dispensed, is what you're saying. That's how I feel. That's how I feel about it, yeah. That's how Jack feels about it. Me me per me personally, right? And I just did a live about this too, right? So, you know what I'm saying? Um, the whole him keeping the fifty dollars, neither one of us needed it, right? You know what I'm saying? It's a principle, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you know what I'm saying? I, me personally, I feel like people make mistakes, the nigga Ryder is wrong. That's why I still keep him in the loop, you know what I'm saying? Jack and Ryder, they I, I, I don't know I don't really know how I know how Jack is, you know what I'm saying? Jack don't fuck with Rome like at all, you know what I'm saying? And the only reason I keep uh, Rome around because he made a mistake and he fixed it. And and then the whole, well, I don't, are, are we getting into the rest of it, Jack? Or are we, we going to like, it? Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. Get it all out. The reason why I want to lay it all out, the reason why I want to lay it all out is because you lay it all out now, it's out there, and that's the end of it. But I want to hear I want to hear from Ryder. Like, like where's Ryder's oh, game? Where we at? Where, where's Ryder in this? Alright, my whole, my whole thing is this. When the shit, when the shit got brought to me, Okay. It was about like the same thing I brought to me. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Who, who's that with the people in the background? Because I mean, I hear people in the background. Like, I need you to get uh, your point across. Like, we don't want to have it muffled. So, go ahead, Ryder. Yeah. Um. It was like uh. It was like the nigga. The nigga was. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, supposedly I heard the nigga took like twenty five hundred. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So with it being twenty five hundred, I'm like, nah, I can't I can't fuck with the nigga no more. Like you know what I'm saying? But then come across that that shit was bullshit to my knowledge now, because 'cause I'm I'm just learning this. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like that that was on some bullshit, you know what I'm saying? But that's what made me stop fucking with him on some shit. Like, oh, you you taking that bread? Like that's supposed to be going to us, nigga. You know we could have used that shit for? You know what I'm saying? It was on it was it was on some shit, you know, what y'all wanna do. What y'all want to do? Like, you know what y'all want to do to this nigga? It's 2500 Like, what y'all want to do to this little nigga? Like, you know what I'm saying? But now that it's on some shit, like, I right, then that was all bullshit. Then I can't really be mad at the situation. But on the situation with them in Ascension, I wasn't at Ascension. You know what I'm saying? So with that situation, it's like, I can understand Jack on his shit. Like, yo, the person is the person. Is you understand what I'm saying? So I understand why niggas is mad for that. You know what I'm saying? Me and Rome don't speak all the time. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like we never spoke on that situation or none of that type of shit. But I was under, you know what I'm saying, the assumption that he took all of that bread. You know what I'm saying? And then the situation mm-hmm. with what happened with uh when we was in the studio, you know what I'm saying, and it was a um situation where it was supposed to be um two hundred dollars and he Yeah, for a song, for a song. I heard about that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he owed me another fifty. So it was like he sent me the fifty and then he sent me one fifty for the feature. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, dog, it's supposed to be 200 for the feature. So it made me kind of look at it funny. Like, the fuck? Now you trying to couple another fifty dollars, my nigga? Like, what the fuck is going on? You know what I'm saying? So that's when I kind of like just fell back from the situation. You know what I'm saying? Because I felt he was doing some snake shit. You know what I'm saying? Now it, it could be some other shit, but the way I felt about it was that he he did it on on purpose in the way I got all my bread. Don't get me wrong. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like I kind of just looked at it different. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and that's, that's and that's my thing as well with the with the assistant shit. It's not necessarily the bread itself; it's more so the principle. Like you know, what I'm saying that they're like before all this niggas had, we had our private conversation. So like in a private conversation with 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 with, with Rome and shit, you know, what I'm saying like like niggas is like I had watched his little blog, but niggas is telling me he like you are real asked him to pick up YK. He, he already told us you are real never asked him to do shit. You know what I'm saying? He wanted to pick up YK wait, to wait, do wait, it. Wait, 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 wait. He said yeah. in his vlog. Yeah, in his vlog, he said, he said yeah, you watch it, go URL ahead. I'll let you tell me. I seen the blog. It said, URL asked me to pick up Young Cannon, and I thought that was weird because why would an opponent be picking up the other opponent? That's what I thought was weird. Yeah, I, well, when, this, said, when this first came up, what is, yeah, go ahead, my bad. Then he said, URL asked him to pick up Young Cannon, and he got paid for it. So he told you, I quote unquote, stop bitching. I'm getting paid for it. That's why I'm doing it. So I don't know. You, I'm just, I'm just giving you what I heard, and you take it from there. And first of all, that nigga ain't never in his life took that toll with me. Like, and that's a fact. And like I said, talking in the car, you know what I'm saying? That nigga ain't never took that toll with me in his fucking life. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? He never took it. 
Never said, never took that. And, and another reason I would tell you he didn't take that that toll with me because he tried to paint it like it was just me. Nah, I'm sorry, me and Twerk was at this nigga neck. It so was, if he tried to say, no, listen, to keep it really funky, bro. It was really me, bro. Like it was really, it was Jack too, but it was really me. And I was mad because I, I was because I told the niggas in Philly like I was gonna come through and host a few battles. Like you know what I'm saying? My nigga B Wills is battling. He's battling size of all that night. So I, I and I gave him my word. I told him like, listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay around for your battle, but mind you, I'm on stage. They still in the car, and I'm telling niggas like, listen, man, I don't give a fuck if you gotta pick up YK. I'm not leaving. So while they mm-hmm. in the car, I'm still in the venue. I'm still on stage hosting a battle. You know what I'm saying? I I got through Shice Wall around because she went first. So when Jack come in, you know what I'm saying? And he say like, listen, bro, you know what I'm saying? The nigga gotta pick up YK. We gotta go. So it's Jack. You know what I'm saying? I leave. You know what I'm saying? I come out. I get in the car, though, I'm mad. I'm letting this nigga have it. I'm like, man, you's a fucking dozer. Like, who paid you to do Who's the nigga? Who told you to do this? Like, who the fuck told you? I, I'm, I'm on him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about YK. I'm, to be totally honest, I don't give a fuck about YK. Or if you got to pick him up. That's not our responsibility. Because, for one, you never told us this prior to prior to fucking uh, going to a session. Well, and he's man, battling somebody that you manage. It's a conflict of interest. It's a conflict of interest. So, so it was like, uh, it was like, I mean, I really wasn't even thinking of it that way. I just really didn't give a fuck. Like that shit didn't have nothing to do with me. What y'all had going on, yeah? Or none of us. That shit had nothing to do with us. So, so then he like, oh, you picked up you, you are told him, and I was still on him even when he said that. Like, man, I don't give a fuck if you are real. Told him. Like, nope, no, no, Tork. He didn't say that, bro. He didn't say you are real. He didn't say you are real. No, I said he said you are real. He said you are real. I I said the you are real. I said the you are real. I I said that. He said Paulie paid him to pick to pick up uh pick up um YK. He didn't say you are real. He said Paulie. Now for the listeners, now for the listeners that don't know, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people are gonna listen to this. Who is Paulie? Like I hear Paulie's name thrown here, thrown there. Who is Paulie? Like I don't know. Pa- Paulie is a, Paulie is just an avid follower of battle, of battle rap who like. To help. That's now, point right there. Now, now, leave it at that. I'm, I'm going to say some things about Paulie, but, and I'm also going to say this. Paulie is, Paulie is a genuine dude at times. Like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't made a Facebook post one time and just said, damn, my phone broke. And then nigga Paulie sent a, a, a company out here in VA $150. They called me and said, yo, go stick your phone up there. They're going to fix it. He that type of dude. You know what I'm saying? He definitely oh, wow. Out. Yeah, that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Those are facts. But at the same time, I seen those messages between Rome and Paulie, and I'm not, I'm not about I'm not the blog is already out. I'm still not going to speak too heavy about it. But it was it, it was a breach in his contract to where he wasn't supposed to be sending money to Rome Channel, and which he was doing. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I seen I seen I seen that he's under contract with like so, hip hop is real, and he's not supposed to send money to another media outlet. I seen that, that he wasn't supposed to be doing that. So to clear that up. He came with the story that all that money that he was sending to Rome was actually for the Goonies and that Rome was stealing it, which I never believed. And Jack and Rod, I know this, I said this from jump. I told him that that's bullshit. That's bullshit. Don't believe it. It's bullshit. And however they oh. feel, they can, they can let you know off that. But that's, besides the $50 or whatever, that, that was, it all seemed, it all really, the big bang came from. And because it all amounted to like like three thousand dollars. Yeah. Almost that, like twenty five hundred. That's what had me on some shit. And right. that's what and that's what had niggas on some shit. Mind you, I never believed it, which which is the reason why I still deal with them. Okay, so let me let me let me do it like this real quick. So all right, so here for the listeners, here's the deal. You got uh a little fifty dollars that he sent, you know what I'm saying, to for ascension to eat food, whatever the case may be. Rome was saying something about the money didn't clear. I get it. You know, that, that's like we all going out and saying I pay for the bill. Two weeks later, I'm Nah, he, he said it ain't clear. He got it. He just didn't get the nigga. Yeah, he Boy, never said nothing about it. He never said nothing, he never said nothing about the... Until, until listen, he, he, he... Yeah, I was about to say, he reiterated through that day when we was at a sister, like every time we would, like... When he would be like, all right, there was a situation where the day of a session, he was rushing niggas to get to the event to where we ended up getting there like two, three hours early because he was pressed about picking up YK. So we was, you know what I'm saying, telling them then, like, dog, like, 
niggas ain't even fully dressed yet. Like, you rushing niggas. Like, what the fuck, bro? You know what I'm saying? And then once again, he reiterates, Paulie paid me to pick up YK. Not you are real, Paulie. You know what I'm Blossom saying? And it's like... As long as you are. <laughs> yeah, but that's a, that's a whole lot. You are, and I talked to you are real when we first found out. Nobody ever asked him to do shit. You feel me? And he never said you are real to us. He never said you are real to that fucking blog. You know what I'm saying? His whole thing was Paulie did it. You know what I'm saying? And when we talked to him in private, me and Twerk, we asked him, like, bro, like, why you ain't tell us? His exact words was, well, niggas was in the car calling me out of my name and shit, so I just came up with that lie and ran with it. So how am I supposed to feel like you forgot? That's what's fucking with me. Like, his whole thing is he forgot. Well, you just told us that when we was calling you out your name, that's what made you say what you said. So, you ain't forget. You just felt like you was pulling the move on niggas is how I feel when it comes so, to that. So, and so, the, so the, extra, the extra, the extra poly shit, you know what I'm saying, niggas end up finding out that some of that shit is wishy-washy and all that, cool. But my main thing is I can't trust the niggas. Like, fuck the $50, because like Twerk said, niggas didn't need it. We got paid by URL sponsors to be at us in any fucking way. So it's like, it's not like niggas needed the fucking fifty dollars. You feel me? Like the fact that he tried to put that in this blog too. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, Jack needed the fifty. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, that's fucking dead. You know what I'm saying? Like, but the whole thing is a principle. It's like you multiple times out of the day you let us know that Polly sent you bread. You know what I'm saying? But what you never did was let it be known that the bread that Polly sent was actually supposed to go towards the Goonies, not to pick up no fucking YK. Mm. So, so the, yeah, main question I got, the main question is, yes or no, did he or did he not steal money from the Goonies? This, you guys are on the phone. You guys, can, what do you think? Uh, that's what the question is. I that's feel what like, yes. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like with the assistant situation, I feel like that's stealing because I feel like until we found out from another source, you know what I'm saying, though when it sits, like, I right, though when we found out and we pressed him about it, he sent niggas double the bread. Like, to me, that still don't satisfy me because it's like the principle of it is nigga, nothing would have ever been said or anything about it if we didn't find out from outside sources. So that's like some snake shit to me. So I can't fuck with you. Mm, Ryder, how you feel about it? Hello? My bad. I was over here getting something to eat and shit. Oh, no. Nah, how you but feel yeah, about it? Um, yeah, um... I feel like my main issue was the was the whole twenty five hundred. Like you know what I'm saying. That was my main issue. You know what I'm saying. Like if some like I feel what Jack saying. Like you know what I'm saying. Now you gotta watch the nigga, which you shouldn't have to do if that's your man. You shouldn't have to watch him. Like you know what I'm saying. And if you did it once, you probably do it again. You know what I'm saying. But it's like I I definitely feel like it's something niggas could get past. You know what I'm saying. But niggas got their own. You know what I'm saying. Their own feelings about shit. Like. Uh, I ain't getting past shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like, it's like, I feel, you know what I'm saying, how I feel about this shit. Jack said, how you feel about it? Twerk said, how you feel about it? You know what I'm saying? Well, it's, basically, it's basically it's basically the whole, the whole, 50, the whole $50 shit, like, like, Ryder said, like, like, Jack said, how he feel about it. I feel like, like, I say, and I spoke this shit in private to everybody. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's people, like, niggas make mistakes. The nigga Ryder is wrong. All right, cool. We can go from there. You know what I'm but the Ryder, Ryder whole thing was the 2500 shit because Paulie was saying all of that money that he sent to Rome was actually for the Goonies. And, that, and that's what they believed. I never believed it. And now that we now was Now we're not twerk. Not to, interrupt, not to interrupt you. My thing is this. Now, is, when we talk about 2500 is this 2500 he's saying sent for the Goonies, is he doing that to deflect the fact that he's in a contract with Hip hop is real. Yeah, or... that's that's exactly that's exactly what it is. That's exactly you know, what it is. That's, and that's what just came to mind. Me. Because listen, because listen, and I'm gonna tell you, and I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna explain to you why, right? So when when money when money is supposed to go to us, okay, let's say Paulie for instance. Anytime Paulie sent money to us, which we never asked for, let me mind you, we never asked Paulie for any money. But when money is sent to us, Paulie in the invoice says for the Goonies, or he always labels what the shit is for. You know what I'm saying? 
Like one time we sent twenty five films in. Like one time we sent twenty five films in. Like one time we sent twenty five films of of Paul. You know how we drink Paul. Mm hmm. So one time he sent that, like, and he said for Paul Machado, or he say this is for that, this is for that. All that other money he was sending to Rome, which he wasn't supposed to do. So to cover his ass, he said, oh, I sent all of that money to the goons, which wasn't in fact. He sent that money to Rome. He was supporting Rome's channel, not us. And Rome, mm-hmm. the money that was supposed to go to him, he do what he's supposed to do. With it. It's his money. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And this is, and that was the big, that was the big thing of why, why this shit. I don't know about how how I know how Jack feel, and maybe he's not basing off that, but I feel like that's what they was really off of that was twenty five hundred shit. Because I'm saying I can I could I got obviously I got past fifty dollars. A lot of saying he could have got past it. Jack saying he just he he couldn't trust Rome no more after that. Which, which is I mean thing. I mean because I'm gonna keep it funky. I'm gonna keep it funky with you. Like if 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 it's four of y'all, you know what I'm saying, and one is in in halfway in, so halfway out the crew. Well, he's halfway in, halfway managing. He's still gonna have to be around. So, is it at this point? Is he in? Is he out? Like, what are we doing here? You know what I mean? Like, like that's what I'm trying to. We're trying to leave this all on the table so it doesn't have to be addressed again. Basically, basically, bro. And I'm gonna just keep this all the way on it, bro. I, I wasn't. I'm not. At at this point, I don't, I don't really know. But as this prior situation, I wasn't about to just. This this own Rome or stop fucking with him off of some shit that I didn't believe. Like, right? you know what I'm saying? I love Jack, I love Ryder, but at the end of the day, I, I'm I'm my own man. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't about to just not fuck with a nigga off of some shit that I didn't believe. That'd just be dead wrong. You know what I'm saying? That's like a nigga. That's like a nigga. Like, that's like uh, you saying you my you my homeboy and you saying my my other homeboy stole from you. So you want me to stop fucking with him? Not saying they wanted me to stop fucking with him, but because they never asked me, they never asked me to choose. They never gave me an ultimatum. Never. You know what I'm saying? We just, no, we just not like that. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's like I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna stop fucking with my other man because I don't believe he took the twenty dollars. You know what I'm saying? So and that's okay. that whole, that's what the whole situation was. Like, no, 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 I got it. Not a yeah, I got it. I got it. I got I got to play devil's advocate. I got to play devil's advocate to something I heard. And I'm just, and I'm, you know, what I'm saying we keeping it all the way 100 tonight. You know, what I'm saying I, I heard, and like I said, I don't really be getting involved with it. Like we on, we only on the phone now because you guys wanted to get, you know, get together and explain some things. But somebody told me you're only willing to keep Rome around because he's the ride and because he's the one that's going to finance a lot of the shit that you do. Is it because of that or is it because it's your man? You know what I'm saying? Like, Not what are we doing listen, here? Listen though, this, 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 this is the thing, right? My last time getting up to, to, to um. Up in New York, Rome had nothing to do with it. We, me, me and Ryder, we got our own rental car and, and drove up there. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, he, Rome not financing shit. You know what I'm saying? Rome, I was about to say, the time before that, I got up there on my own. So I'm like. It's, it's, it's times where, and I'm not going to stop to take nothing from Rome because he has done shit for us, bro. He has. Like, the, the church, he what, shit. What, 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 what he got from donations and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? The towels, those are those was his ideas. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's done shit for us that I'm grateful for. But to say I keep him around because of all of that, nah, that's not a fact. I keep him around because I, I genuinely fuck with Rome. I fuck with Rome. I, like, me and Rome just a month ago went to Six Flags like three days in a row. You know what I'm saying? That's my man. Mm-hmm. That's my dude. I fuck with Rome. He can vouch for this. I fuck with Rome. Rome but how does that, die. How does that work? I hopped on the stage. Had asked for a moment of silence for his grandmother. You know what I'm saying? Right when, there, his right died, when his grandma died, when his grandma died, I was the first nigga he called. I came over there, bought him a big ass bottle. Like, no, listen, man, let's pour for your grandma. Like, that's my man, in real life. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with him. So now, how does that work? In the, how does that work in the team dynamic when you got people like Jack? And like, he's not fucking with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, how does that work? You know what I mean? Like, is this, is bro? I can't I, listen. I will go to bat for for, for Jack, bro. Like, and he know that. You know what I'm saying? And and, and in this situation, you know what I'm saying? Like, I go to bat for boy. Like, he already know that. But at the end of the day, if I if I don't feel as like as though he took from from us, I'm, I, I can't inherit that beat. You know what I'm saying? And Jack okay. know Jack know that. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't I would like he didn't ask me to not fuck with Rome. He understood that. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't ask him to not fuck with a nigga if he didn't believe. Like, it's just, it, I, I would hope it wouldn't cause no conflict. But now, where's Jack? Now, where's Jack? Jack, where you at with it right now? 
He said, I mean, uh, this is the day the Goofy's ain't gonna never break up. Like, so this shit ain't, this shit ain't coming in between nothing. And this is a simple fact of, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, it's clearly it's just a simple fact of how I feel about it is I feel like, alright, you know what I'm saying? We done weaved out basically this whole, the whole 2,500, 3,000 shit, all that good shit. My thing is the simple fact of, I feel like we all agree that the nigga was moving funny. It's just more so, first willing to forgive and move forward, and I'm just stuck on, I can't trust you, so I don't want you around me. Like, I can't trust you. I don't want you to fuck around me. Like, and it's 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 it's, it's the whole assistant thing, and then on top of that, it's like, you're hitting niggas up, telling niggas we need bread, and then when you get the bread, you don't even get it to us. Like, what? You know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 how you, like, how you gonna hit a nigga up without us knowing? Like, cause me and Twerk didn't know nothing about this whole debate. Like, this is what I'm trying to tell you. From we left from fucking DC to get to New York, and then from New York back to DC, the whole time we knew nothing about all of this poly donating shit for us, or any of the other shit he was donating for that Rome was doing. We never knew none of this shit. You feel yeah, me? Like yeah, none that's of what it. I'm saying, that's like, what I'm saying. Like, like, yeah, like, like none of it, my nigga. You feel me? So my problem is, you hit a nigga up, you tell this nigga, yo, I went to because I, I just seen those, the screenshots of the messages. You know what I'm saying of him and the nigga Paulie about the assistant shit. So you hit a nigga up, and verbatim you say, yo, I got Twerk and Jack with me. They need bread for this, that, and the third. But actually, we don't. And then when you get the bread, you didn't even give it to niggas. So what the fuck are you doing? How the fuck can I trust you? I can't trust you. You willing to put my situation or a situation you think is happening out there to get some bread, and then you don't even give it to me? So that you use me? And it took for me to have to press you to get you to feel like you you got to make it right? So this whole time you knew what was going on and ain't say nothing, nothing? I can't fuck with you. That's just my take on Like, I can't fuck with you. Like, I commend bro for being a bigger person and being able to forgive, but I can't. I'm sorry. Like, I can't trust you. And the last thing I'm going to be doing is looking over my shoulder. Like, the last thing I'm going to be doing is looking over my, over my shoulder for a nigga that's supposed to be a bro. Like, and then like I like I say, he's, he, he's helped. I'm never going to say he's not helped. Or and that's, not. And that's, and that's what you know what I'm saying? And that's what that's keeps what. me, like, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's like... It's like the good outweighs the bad in that type of situation because Rome has done for, for niggas. Like, you know what I'm saying? He he done help niggas out, you know what I'm saying? In this battle rap shit, you know what I'm saying? He done help niggas out outside of battle rap. Yeah. So the good, way, the good outweighs the bad to me is why I kept Rome around. It don't really have nothing to do with no financial shit, none of that shit. I really fuck, I no. fuck with I can't, I can't, I can't keep him around. I, I can't keep him around for, for another fact that happened today. Like, for the simple fact, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit that just blows do. Everybody doing life. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, a nigga down bad for a fucking week. You know what I'm saying? I hit up a nigga, I think that's my bro to look out. You know what I'm saying? And he look out, but now you feel like you need to put that part in the blog? And I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't feeling that. And that right there is kind of, it's that right there. Because like well, prior to prior to hearing about that, I had I can't talk to. I can't talk to. Now it's work. 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 Let me ask. Let me ask. You, I've seen on Twitter, you told Rome not to be mentioning Ryder, not to be mentioning Jack. But then I see a twenty minute blog come out where he's mentioning Ryder, mentioning Jack. What are we doing right, here? So I'm gonna explain that situation, right? So before I spoke to Ryder, right? I mean, before I spoke to Jack. Uh, let me see. Right, let me start from the beginning, right? So Jack hit me up, like, listen, bro, I know you still fuck with Rome. Tell that nigga stop saying our name. I tell him I got you. And he know that's all he need to, that, that's all the conversation need to, they don't even need to go no further. I hit Rome, I tell Rome, and this was private. Because I told, I, I asked Jack and I asked Rome, I said, bro, whatever we doing, just keep this shit behind the scenes. It don't need to go public. Like, we don't need this shit to go public. You know what I'm saying? Jack, like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Because cause that's, how, that's how we move. You know what I'm saying? So I hit Rome in private the first time. I say, bro, don't say Jack or Ryder's name at all. You know what I'm saying? You're going to cause conflict, and then it's going to go further than that. You know what I'm saying? He say, all right, bro, I got you. I won't speak their name. Cool. So then, I, 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 I like, Jack Jack and Ryder know I be really out the loop with all, with all the other shit. Like, I don't be on own blogs and all that other shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't, mm-hmm. be, I don't be really knowing. So, 
I might say something to them, and they be like, nah, bro, you wrong. This is what really happened. But I don't really be knowing. I'm just speaking on what I know. And they know that. You know what I'm saying? I only speak on what I know. I didn't know. So what I seen was I seen Rome talking about uh, Jack, and I seen Jack talking about Rome on Twitter. Now, mind you, I had already asked, like, bro, don't make this shit go public. These niggas not laughing with us. They laughing at us. I saw that. So I... I, I didn't want this shit to go public at all. But since it was public, I asked Rome again on Twitter this time because he made it public. So now I'm talking to you public. The first time I talked to you private, it was behind the scenes. Now you made it public, I'm going to talk to you on here. And I said, listen, bro, which I wasn't trying to sell Rome at all. I don't, I, people make whatever they This is how I talk in real life. And they, everybody know this. Like, this is how I talk. Them. And I told him, like, listen, bro, I told you the first time, stop. Don't say their name no more. You know what I'm saying? Don't say their name at all. All right, cool. He said he got me, whatever. So then today, I talk to Jack first, and I say, listen, bro, you going to do what you're going to do. I'm removing myself from the situation. Whatever y'all need, y'all grown men, whatever y'all want to do, it's already out. Y'all wanna, whatever y'all want to do, this is in private I'm talking about. Whatever y'all want to do, I'm, I'm stepping away from it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe an hour later, Rome hit me up. Like, listen, bro, my name is being tainted, whatever. I, I got to defend my name. Please let me put this blog out. You know what I'm saying? I, I tell him, like, listen, bro, I'm I'm not in a situation. I'm done with this shit. Whatever you do as a grown man, that's what you do. I, I understand. He say, all right, I'll, thank you for understanding. That was the end of that. And then maybe a couple hours later, the blog was up. And yeah, but my thing is like, 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 as a like, like, like for instance, if you got a homeboy, if you got a homeboy, if you got my, the only thing, the only thing I had, the only issue I had with the blog, or the only thing that I saw that I that I had a question is. If you and Jack is homeboys or whatever the case may be, or y'all in a management, whatever the case may be, if you're sending him money or whatever, $50, $75, I didn't really think that that needed to be public and, information. And prior to that, prior to that, like I told Jack, I, I had watched it up until when he pulled the contract out, and I didn't mm-hmm. see the rest. Before, this is when I talked to Jack. I didn't see him putting Jack shit out, and I told Jack, like, that changes a whole lot between me and home because Jack is really my homie. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's really my homie. Like you putting shit out. You know what I'm saying about him now. Now, now the blog, now the blog gotta come down. Either he trim that shit out or the blog gotta come down. And that's my word, like. Yeah, because it's like it was like what it said was uh, something to the nature of, "Yo, I'll give you seventy five. All you gotta do is give me back fifty. That yeah, does I wasn't. Not I didn't. I didn't in see public. that. Yeah, it doesn't need to be in the public. Jack yeah. Jack but yeah. see y'all, but see y'all don't even like that because there's other information I know. Like, all right, so it was set up to where niggas was donating money on a, a certain schedule on his channel. You feel me? To the Goonies, like every Monday, uh, niggas was donating like fifty dollars. So that seventy five he sent me came from the Goonie donations any fucking way. Mm. So it's like, so it's like the time run off on some. You know what I'm saying? Like, like when he sent it, like, them text messages was before I knew it came from the Goody account. So I'm actually thinking, like, word, bro, like, that's some, that's some, some G nigga shit. That's why you my nigga. Like, I appreciate it. I'm going to make sure you get your 50 out of the 75 back. A few hours later is really when all of this shit hit the fan originally, and I find out, and I get screenshots, that after you send me that 75, you turn around and you hit the donators like, yo, I just sent Jack 75. Can y'all send it back? You know what I'm saying? Oh. It, it did. It did. Not even that. Even with the situation where we with a stitches, I got the screenshots for this shit too. Even the situation with a stitches. After he sent all of us the bread to make up for it, he turned around and asked the donators for the bread back. Like he hit them like, "Yo, I just sent the niggas these bread because I fucked up and it hurt my pockets. Can y'all send me the money back?" So to me, it's kind of like I'm looking at it like, you're not really never taking no L's even when you fuck up, like. You're never really taking an L. You don't send us the money and then turn around and ask the same niggas you kept the money from last time to send the money again. Mm. Okay, okay. So I can't fuck. I, I can't trust you. I can't fuck with you, son. Like, so where, that's, where, like where, that's my uh, thing. I don't want to. I don't want to lose Ryder. Where's Ryder at on all of this? Uh, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm hearing. I'm hearing these things. I need. I'm trying to get his perspective too. <laughs> Ryder, I tell you right now, Ryder. Ryder is the most. He like in the eye, so. Him and Trump is two niggas that don't pay attention to all this shit. You feel me? Is he like, on the line? Is he on the line? He's on the line, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Give me, your, give me your perspective. I need your perspective. I need your perspective. Yeah, because this, this shit, this shit is new to me. Like, as far as 
what he's just saying right now. I didn't know he was doing all that. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like... And it's the shit I didn't want to put out, bro. You know what I'm saying? But after that blog, I'm a fucking bird boy. Like, this is shit I didn't want to put out. Like, But it do it do, it do, do just seem like, you know what I'm saying? Like, ah, man, son. Like, he's just doing shit. But, like, like when he put this shit out, that's crazy. Because I didn't see the blog. Like, it's, like you said, I don't be watching all of this shit. Yeah, so look, I want to clear that, too, son. Like, like, all right, so the first time I called twerk, was because actually the nigga motherfucker he went live, all right. So all y'all, everybody who's probably listening or whatever, y'all know that the nigga, the nigga Caps was on fucking Twitter and he was promoting that the nigga, what's his name? I smoke hip hop and made a blog about Rome and shit. You know what I'm saying? Going off on the nigga. So after dude make the blog, Rome has the nigga on his show. You know what I'm saying? So the nigga basically interview with Rome and he grilling Rome and he get to a point where he like, so tell me, so basically the Goonies kicked you out? You know what I'm saying? And he go, uh, no, nah, the Goonies ain't kicked me out because I still made his twerk. But if you want to say I started the Goonies, orchestrated the Goonies, did this, that, and the third, I was like, hold on. I know I just hit twerk and act twerk to tell, bro, to not speak on niggas like, you know what right. I'm saying? Like, where, so, if, so instead of going public, I hit twerk again. I'm like, look, bro, can you please tell your man to chill so shit go left like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, we're supposed to not be speaking on this shit. You know what I'm saying? So leave that alone. Then that's when the shit happened with him and Caps on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? And, and Caps bring up some shit. You know what I'm saying? Basically bring up the incident, and he respond to it. But me, it's like Caps tried to get me too. You know what I'm saying? I told Caps on air live, like, bro, niggas just go separate ways. Like, you know what I'm saying? Kept it political as fuck. Like, niggas just go separate ways, bro. Like, then get into it. Like, why you can't do the same? You feel me? And that was now. That's why. And that's why niggas see me going on Twitter because I'm like, word. So you can't respect the fact that niggas say keep this shit. You know what I'm saying? Behind private doors. Cool. I got something for your ass. And that's when I start going in on the nigga. You know what I'm saying? On Twitter and shit, like dropping bars and shit about this shit, like having fun with it. Like it's like cool. Like niggas actually stay private. You don't want to stay private. Now what's that? Where it's at? You know what I'm saying? And now he dropped his blog. What happens? Blog, especially about me, is fucking bullshit. Like, like I needed the fifty. Like that's dead. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, but, but the other shit is though. This like everybody knows that that nigga did not create the Goonies or orchestrate anything with us. We 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 made that decision ourselves. You know what I'm saying? On top of that, certain things that he was doing, we never asked for. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Like, popping out the window and doing himself. Yeah. Facts. That's the other part. Like, like we never asked for these shirts to be made, hoodies. We never asked the nigga to buy no rentals. We never asked the nigga to get no hotels for us. None of that shit. This shit he wanted to do it. We appreciated it. But like now at this point, would you try to motherfucking put it like if something niggas asked for or something niggas needed? It's like no. You made it a little more comfortable. I say that. You made it where we was a little more comfortable. We all get to ride together in the car. You know, niggas get to smoke in the car, shit like that. You can't do that on the bus or the play. Mind you, we have our own cars, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? And not even that. Mind you, we work for fucking URL. Anytime we come out, it's their responsibility to get us there in the first place. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Like, you fucking poor cars. Like, that's... That's why I was like, like, like you go, you can speak on what you did. That's cool. Niggas not gonna take it away from you, but try to paint it like we needed it or we asked for it or there wouldn't be certain shit without it. Like that's dead because most of the shit we do anyway when it comes to this battle rap shit, it's funded by URL. You know what I'm saying? Like even when niggas get riddles, niggas get the yeah. But what I'm saying is, long story short, you know what I'm saying? Like you did what you did. We appreciated it. We ain't need it. So don't try to kick it like niggas needed it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's my thing. And don't be trying to kick it like niggas needed that 50 at a stitches. And my thing was like, hear about his blog, like, how you tried to put all this shit on me. Like, and it's like, damn, son, because I remember verbatim twerk cussing your ass out. Oh, but because you manage your twerk, and twerk is your lifeline and battle rap, because that's what gets people to be. If twerk ever dubbed this nigga, the battle rap world is going to slay this nigga. Because right. twerk the only thing saving him. You know what I'm saying? Twerk co-signer is the only thing saving this nigga. You feel me? So as soon as Twerk, whenever Twerk dubs this nigga or if he ever do, you know what I'm saying? It's a rap for boy in a battle rap but culture. He know that. But this is the thing, though, bro. It's really not even me co-signing this nigga. It's the fact that 
is the fact that he was he was accused of stealing a lot of money from us that was and it wasn't true. That's the only that's that's it, bro. Like that's it. But anything but, else, but anything the way Jack but the way Jack is saying to me, it, to me bro, I feel like saying, he still stole from still niggas. Still like I I'm sorry, like fuck that Pauly shit. Because that was never my personal focus anyway. My focus was, you know what I'm saying, like, but I, fuck it. I go through the whole story. But I remember leaving D.C., the whole situation we just displayed in Philly. You know what I'm saying? Like, I even think about the different ways a nigga could have fucking flipped it. You don't remember we was in McDonald's and getting food? A nigga ain't had to pay for no food, my nigga. My nigga actually paid this nigga for fucking weed when he was holding out money for us. You feel me? Like, this is why I'm going to say, like, we sitting in the car and I asked the nigga, like, hey, you got more blood, I'm going to pay for it. But you hold on the money any fucking way. Like, me knowing all that shit now? Oh, we bought, like, come on. We did got our own bottles. We bought Everything. And that's why it's like this whole time you knew with anything, fuck 50 a piece. You had a whole hundred sitting in your fucking account that was given to you me, for the booty. Let me ask you. Whether we needed it or that. not, it was given to you. Hold on, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on. Check this out. Check this out. So, you got money sent to you by more than just this poly guy, random, a bunch of random people, you know what I'm saying, that don't Oh, now that's, that's, that that's, money, that's a whole different story. That's a that, whole different that, story. That, and to keep it a B, Quirk and Ryder don't even know about that. Did they ever see the money, is what I'm saying, the random fan money that was being donated? Not just this one guy. I'm talking about random people. I got 16 other niggas, sir. It's a fact. I got I know 16 other people that was donated that say that they say, fuck the poly shit. They say they was donating to the Goonies, and they got upset that the Goonies never touched, seen, or even heard that they was doing it. So basically, the donations that was coming from the other people, y'all wasn't getting either. This is what it's just. I'm just taking what you're telling me. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't yeah, this, this is what I'm saying. Personally, don't know about this part, and this is why I was personally asking niggas to keep it on the low. You feel me? Like. You know what I'm saying? From the jump, I was the one who actually asked niggas to keep this shit on the low. And the reason being is because you was like a bro to me. You know what I'm saying? You was like fam. Now, people that was watching, though, me and Grove argued all the time, like, older brother, little brother. But that's just this our fucking relationship. Like, you know what I'm saying? But you was like a bro. You was fam. That's why I didn't want to do this shit. But I started feeling like he couldn't keep it private. So it's like, fuck it. You want to go public? We can go public. Okay. But I got 16 other niggas that was donating on his channel strictly for the goodies, sir. Like, they was donating saying it was for the goodies, or Like, they was donating saying it was for the goodies, or Like, they was donating different times and shit. Now, as well, some of them niggas was donating to, to Rome as well. Let like, me we not, you know what I'm saying, not say that. You know what I'm saying? Some of them was donating to Rome as well. But there was other instances where niggas was fucking donating to give to the booties that we never heard or seen or nothing about it. Um, yeah. So, let me just throw this scenario out there. All right. So, if there's a battle coming out, let's say you, one of you guys have a battle. Twerk has a battle. Is Rome on stage with y'all? Does Rome still stand in y'all corner? Or no? Nah, no, like, no. Nah, nah. <clears throat> nah, the goonies, nah, I mean, if I if, if if it's my battle, nah. If it's, I'm, I'm sure it was, I know if it's Jack battle, he's not up there. But yeah, that shit yeah, dead. I shoot, shoot that nigga. He try to get on stage. He better just leave that shit where it's at, and niggas be peaceful. That's a conflict within itself. Like I'm not gonna put him. I'm not gonna put them in that situation. I'm not gonna put him in that situation. The immediate the immediate people are the goons, which is Jack and Ryder. You know what I'm saying? They they we we are the goons. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Rome is not the goonie. He was. A I don't want to. Um, I don't want to stray off the subject, but I need to ask you this: Why is Why is drugs not in the goonies no more? And it just is what it is, bro. It ain't that's a broke shit. Okay. Yeah, that ain't that we're not really speaking. That shit will never get spoke on, and none of us have no ill will towards drugs at all. So that shit will just never be spoke on. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, so overall. Um, Twerk feels like it was fifty dollars. You know what I'm saying? He made up for it. Yada yada yada. Jack feels like no, nah, he can't trust him. But he feels like it was more. And Rod is pretty much in the same can't trust Rome boat. Is that where we at? That's that's pretty much what it is. But in the same sense, I, I don't give a fuck either. Like it's, it's just like bro, like 
I, I'm one of the most I don't give a fuck niggas. Like, you know what I'm saying? And well, it's, it's just like, yeah, like it, it's just like when it, when it comes to it, it's just like, ah, right, you made up for it, but but then again, you did do this shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I look at you with the side eye too. I can get past it, but it's just I look at you different now. You know what mm. I'm saying? That's why it's just oh, like, cool. right, I see what it is, and I, I see I see for what it is. You know what I'm saying? And I play I play you from that position now. You know what mm. I'm saying? And that's just how I go about it. You know what I'm saying? Now, now is, he, is he sorry? Like, is he sorry? Is he sorry because it happened, or is he sorry because he got caught? Which one? I think it's because he got caught. Hey, I think he's sorry he got caught to keep it a thousand. Because I personally feel like if none of this shit came across my phone, the way that it happened, and the way that it came across my phone, niggas wouldn't know. That hundred that got niggas feeling like he made up for his wrong wouldn't have happened. You feel me? Like. It, it wouldn't have happened. I, fuck it. I know it wouldn't have happened. You know what I'm saying? I know for a fact it wouldn't have happened. Like, niggas, keeping it thousand, if niggas wouldn't have known, everything would still be what it was. There ain't no telling what else the nigga would be keeping from niggas. That's how I feel. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And me personally, I just personally feel like if, if you a nigga manager, whether you put the money in our hands or not, and like I told him on the phone, like, you're supposed to let niggas know what's going on around us. So we not oblivious to the shit going on around us. Like, if you are manager. So if you get donations from niggas, like, even if you don't put it in our hand, let niggas know. Right. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, let niggas know. Like, yo, shit, the fans is fucking with niggas. They donate. We, we wasn't never told none of that, bro. Like, this, this, this was, is my issue. Like, and this is what I told him on the phone. When I told him why I couldn't fuck with him no more. You know what I'm saying? When I told him I ain't trust him no more. Like, I told him all this shit. Like, I can't, like, like, dog, you, I'm very big on principle. You did a whole bunch of shit that was like, all you had to do was speak your mind, like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, I give you a thing on principle. Motherfucking, after the double impact shit, the nigga Battle Truth was so infatuated with what we did on stage that he reached out, you know what I'm saying? He wanted to squash me and his blood online a little back and forth, and he felt like he had ways he could give game. So I heard him out. Immediately after I got off the phone with this nigga, I called Mo. Like, hey, bro, we're just on the phone with so and so. This is what was said. Da 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 da. If a nigga ever try to spit it, get that the third. Da 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 da. This is what was said in that phone call. That's principle. That's loyalty. That's keeping a nigga in the loop to me. You feel right. me? Like, that's how you're supposed to move to me. You know what I'm saying? So if you're using my name to get fun and you never tell me, and the only way I found out is when I found out from my outside source, and then I had to pressure you to get it. I can't trust you. I can't trust you. I'm sorry. I can't trust you. Okay. I mean, because, I mean, you know, this is a hot topic. You know what I mean? A lot of people are asking about it. I see a lot of tweets. A lot of people are using it as angles in their blogs to go against Rome, saying he stole from y'all. And I just wanted y'all to all get a chance to speak on it so it could be all put out there. Y'all say how y'all feel. And, you know what I'm saying, that'll just be the end of it. But I'm just pretty much trying to make sure where does it go from here because, obviously, you don't want a situation where something happens to somebody. You know what I mean? Like, I just think that you got to I don't want that to near me. I will near me. But this is this has to be spoke about because if Twerk is your man and um, Rod is your man and he's managing him or he's still going to be around, you're saying you don't want him around you, like, Listen, this is where we know him from. This, 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 this was gonna happen, right? This was gonna happen, and, and what I'm telling you, what I'm saying, this is what's gonna happen. This is what's gonna happen. That blog is either gonna get trimmed or it's gonna come the fuck back. Okay. You know what I'm saying, and however we go from there, you know what I'm saying, we're gonna to me, so I think with a big bro. To me, that 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 trim shit or that take it down shit, it's kind of too late, bro. That shit already out. Even by time this, even by time this drop, it's already out. Niggas are already on Twitter and everything else, saying what they say, and they've already heard it, watched it. Trivia are taking the time though. That's just that's just small, that's just a small thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? The next your 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 your, your next move is the best move, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? How we going from this? Because now it's, it 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 went past battle rap when 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 boy violated talking about. 
talking about you asking him for money and, and uh, that, that made like, the situation. Yeah, and I don't like that because it's like you paint that picture like it ain't never been vice versa. You feel me? Like, I don't like so that. That, that. That makes the situation, even with me in Rome, that makes our relationship a lot different. You know what I'm So, and we're just going to go from there. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> Right, right, right. And he right, just, right. just a nigga I can't trust. And the more he moves, the more he shows me that shit. Uh, he's just a nigga I can't trust. Uh, there's no rekindling shit for me. I can't get past like shit. You, like before, prior to speaking of, to, 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 to uh, Jack, and Jack, even Jack, he told me, he said, but I know you ain't watched that old, that old shit. And I didn't. I, I, I stopped that, like, when he pulled the contract out. I didn't see where he was saying, or he said, uh, he put up screenshots of Jack asking for money and, and all that other shit, like, you know what I'm saying? So, right. that, that, shit, that shit like that is, 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 that right there don't get flushed under the rug. Okay. That right there, it has to be, you know what I'm saying? Some type right, of, right, right. Some type of action gotta be, you know what I'm saying? Take you gotta take yeah, that's, that shit mad corny. Like, a nigga ain't never done it on the back end, and that's what I don't like. Like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas painting one side of pictures. Like, and, like, that part had nothing to do with anything. You feel me? But this is, like, this is why, this is why, I, this is why, like, nothing against Jack or Ryder, but I mean, Jack or Rome, but this is why I didn't want that extra shit to go public at all. Like, Bro, you forgot I'm the one who who was suggested that we never go public. You know what I'm saying? I just felt like once he kept goddamn you know hitting like, through it publicly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just sitting up now. Now we just look, and it's too early, bro. We just started this thing. Mind you, mind you, it was a whole thing of how how niggas didn't want to join no 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 disrespect to nobody else, but we didn't want to join nobody else. You said we wanted to make our own thing. Right, right. That's why we right. did this shit. Right. That's why we did. That's why we did. But now it's like, we, you know what I'm saying? We don't want to, we don't want to be on the same type of time that everybody had all these other groups on. Like, oh, now this person leaving. You know what I'm saying? We in this shit forever. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so the Goonies, battle, the Goonies right. are not are not breaking up over this. Fuck no. Fuck no. Of course not. What? Nigga, the Goonies will never break up, period. That shit fucking dead, bro. Like, you gotta understand, like, we really bros. So even when we have disagreements like normal people, we talk that shit out like men. There ain't no yelling. Ain't no cussing. Niggas don't call niggas out their fucking name. We talk to each other like fucking men. We bros. Like, this you know what I'm saying? When, when niggas true. tell me I'm wrong, you know what I'm saying? I accept it. I take my L. And, you know what I'm saying? We keep chopping it up and shit like that. And vice versa. Like, that's how we move, bro. Like, niggas ain't narcissistic, egotistic, big-headed. None of us be like, oh, well, I'm this guy. Or niggas look at me like this guy. Like, we'll pull none of them cars with each other. We won't move like that. You feel me? Like, so no issue is ever going to break up the fucking goonies. Like, that's fucking dead. Because we talk everything out. We speak everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're an actual family. We're not three niggas who just put some shit together. Like, we were right, rocking right, with, right, right. with each other before we, before we was the Goonies, we was rocking with each other, which is the reason why we started to, we, we figured to put the Goonies together. Like, even keep that a beat. Trust hit us up, like, let's do this shit. Like, you feel me? Because niggas wanna, is that, that ain't cool with each other. I mean, like I said, I want y'all, you know what I'm saying, y'all young brothers, man, you know what I'm saying, doing something for yourself. I want y'all to stay out of trouble now. I mean, things sometimes, you know, know talk it out, and you know what I mean? And, and, and if the situation comes where y'all can't, Agree with somebody, I can't get along, I understand, but you don't want fans and, and people to egg on situations that, that, you know what I'm saying, that don't really need to be. I mean, it's a lot of different sides to it, and what I pretty much got is, you know, Twerk feels the way he feels, Jack feels the way he feels, Ryder feels the way he feels, and, you know, you can't fix everything overnight, but I definitely am glad that y'all all got to, um, to, 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 to say y'all peace, you know what I'm saying, I want to drag it out longer than it needs to be because we've been on for almost even, an hour. Just one more thing, though, even with that, like, but you see, like, you know how we really froze, like, at the end of the day, like, this this something we, this something we all got different views on, all disagree on, but it ain't break us up. We never felt no ailment towards one another. You know, say, oh, you fuck with that nigga, well, I can't fuck with you. It, it was never nothing like that because we really homies. Like, we really come to an agreement even with disagreeing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. 
So it was like you know said we 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 bros like and we don't want the fans to think it it is it, it, it's, it's, it's trouble in paradise between us three because it's not. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. It's okay, not like yeah. it's really not. We, and Ryder, how you how you and Ryder, how you feel? You know what I'm saying? Before we get out of here, I wanna know how you feel. <laughs> it's the it's the same shit. Like we all like like you said, man, the Goonies ain't going nowhere. Nigga, we bros for real, nigga. I done, I done popped up at Toy Crib. I done picked Jack up, Jack, do it, whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's whatever, bro. Like, niggas is bros for real, man. Like, so with the wrong situation, niggas going to have their own views on it, but it's not going to change. It's not going to change the group. It's not going to change the Goonies. Even if it wasn't a Goonies, nigga, we still would be fucking with each other how we is now. So that that shit, like, this, this shit for life, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Cause the wrong situation, so niggas to find their way. You know what I'm saying? How we gonna handle that situation? But that's something that we'll talk about behind closed doors. Cause you know, the more we, the more niggas put shit out in public, the more it just gives these these so-called media niggas and and these so-called fans and shit it's something to talk about. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You know, when they get a piece of something, they gonna try to take it and spin it and do what they wanna do with it to you know what I'm saying, break shit apart. But that's not gonna happen. Right, 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 right. Um, I do have a um a, a different a, a question, and this is for Twerk, man. Um, have you ever been to a um a Quinceanera before? Yeah, bro. I, <laughs> I used to date this girl. I used to date this girl named Cynthia in high school. She had she had she had one like no 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 no. I used to date this girl in high school named Cynthia. Her little sister had a Quinceanera. <laughs> if she if she ever listened, her name was Cynthia Alvin. Alaman or Alaman, some shit like that. But a little sister had a kiss together, and I and I was glad. You know oh, I mean? oh, that's, yeah. That's that's that. And, and crazy shit is, they wouldn't let me wear a hat in that motherfucker, so I had the hairline out all the time. Word, that's trying to pull up with a with a with a new era hat in a in a suit on my nigga. I ain't gonna hold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think it came out there looking like that's Oh, funny. shit. I've been the two before. That's funny. That is too funny, man. But, fellas, man, like I said, I appreciate it, man. I'm going to get this out as soon as possible, man. You know what I mean? I, I definitely get all sides, you know what I'm saying, of the story. And, you know, um, it's an unfortunate situation that happened, and I hope that you guys can get past it and get focused back on battle rap, you know what I'm saying, because people like to um, drive negativity as long as they possibly can. But um, I hope that y'all find a way to, you know what I'm saying, continue on with the, with the, good, with the good product. You don't want to ruin the product, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the thing. I don't want the product to get ruined over this shit. No doubt. So, all right, man, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, – I get this out ASAP, and we're going to take it from there, fellas. You know what I mean? You know what it is, man. I appreciate y'all hitting me up. Got it, man. We appreciate you, bro. All right, man. I appreciate you, bro. Yeah, we're going to get this out. I got you. Goonies. Goonies.